Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to start a new project. I know, it doesn't look like a car thing. Don't worry, we're going to continue doing car things. But this is something new we're going to try out this year. This is a LiDAR. We've got the usual cable, a little bracket or mounting plate. Then we have this little dongle here. Looks like it takes in USB for control and for power. The way this works, the LiDAR itself has five pins on this connector. Looks like it's TTL serial. And so the USB dongle converts that TTL serial to a USB and takes in input power over another USB. And this is where the magic happens. So it fires a laser out this hole, which is then received back in this hole after it bounces off of something. And then it uses that to make a 2D map of the surroundings. So let's go hook this thing up and test it out. So here are all the downloads for this. Looks like there's a data set, whatever that is, then an SDK, then a ROS driver for the robotic operating system, and then this is our adapter board driver with data sheets and a developer's guide. Then it looks like there's also a some sort of an application. Not sure what this data set is. This adapter board driver is probably the important thing right now. We'll get this driver installed. So hopefully we can just test this on the PC with this application. Again, I've never run it, so we'll see how it works. It looks like they're using a standard Silicon Lab CP2100 series adapter. I would bet that Windows just has a driver built in for this. And you can see the driver installed fine, and this device is enumerated as COM5. Let's fire up the application and see what it looks like. Okay, we've got some sort of a radar looking thing. There's a couple of play buttons, not sure what the difference is, but we'll start with this one. Click it. You can see over here in this picture, well, it's hard to see, but this is starting to spin now. I should probably put a white dot or something on there so we can see it. And now we've got a bunch of points here. It looks like it's mapping something. We can get a distance and an angle to any one of these points. You can see they're up here. It doesn't have units on it, but it's probably, what, millimeters? Something along those lines. You can sort of see it's got some sort of a rectangular feature here in the top right, some sort of a corner. Oh, hey, look at this. We can zoom in. That's nice. All right, so yeah, we can zoom in, and here, this I think is the box that's sitting just out of view of the camera there. It's the box that it came in, actually. Yeah, looks like it's about, it says 280 millimeters, I believe that seems reasonable. Off in this direction is the wall. Three meters seems about reasonable to me. A few other things on the desktop. But if you look in the corner of this photo up here where the camera is showing, let's move this box over. You can see I'm moving it over in the camera and you can see it on the LiDAR. So here's the corner of it here as I'm moving it in. In fact, you can see my hand there in the lower left quadrant. So here's the corner of that box. About 150 millimeters. Seems pretty close, maybe a little high. But it sees it. And here you can see my coffee cup. So we've got the rounded part of me. And here you can see it actually is giving the distance to me sitting in my chair. You can see my hand come over, grab onto the cup, move it around. That's kind of fun. How close can we get here? Yeah, looks like when we get about that close, the laser probably is not bouncing back into the receiver. Back it up just a little bit. That seems to be about the... Yeah, right about there is the minimum distance that we can do. So, it looks like we can get... I don't know, somewhere around 100 millimeters? I have no idea what the maximum range on this is. It sees as far as you can in the space that we're in. 
but that's only about three meters or so. But there you have it. That's a quick overview of the YD LiDAR G4. In the coming months, we're going to use this LiDAR and some other hardware that I have coming. It should be an interesting project, and we'll have video updates in between all of the other stuff that we normally do here. Thanks for watching.